Destiny Bond? No. Mm-mm. Not. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Panda. Today we are playing some more of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. And today we are in the dream world and I have no clue what's going on. But let's go ahead and go over the team real quick. We're going to start off with Mohawk at level 84 holding the Black Sludge with Crunch, Iron Tail, Toxic Spikes, and Poison Jab. We got Bubbles at 86 with Leftovers with Aqua Tail, Play Rough, Super Power, and Power Punch. We got Tesla at 84 holding the Delta Typhlosionite with Charge Beam, Flash Cannon, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt. We got Wavern at 84 holding the Black Glasses with Echoed Voice, Dark Pulse, Drake, and Voice, Dragon Bolts. We got Osiris at 84 holding the Spell Tag with will o -Wisp, Payback, Shadow Ball, Shadow Punch. Gary at 85 holding the Charcoal with Body Slam, Recover, Flamethrower, and Earth Power. So that's the team. I have a feeling that because if you get if you guys did miss out on the last episode, make sure you guys go check that out so that you guys know how we actually got here and what Darkrai did to get its revenge on Persephone for breaking Cresselia's Pokeball. So I have a feeling that because Persephone was sent here with us, we're gonna have to face Persephone, right? Now Persephone has a bunch of ghost and psychic types, I believe. I think it's ghost psychic, maybe it's ghost dark. I know she has ghost types for a fact. So Wavern's going to be really good, and Osiris is going to be mid. But I feel like we should still lead off with Mohawk no matter what, because we do want to set up those Toxic Spikes. And I'm curious what this white thing behind us is. So let's go ahead. A light can be seen through within the rift. Enter the rift? Sure. Oh, that just takes us back. Okay. Enter the rift? Sure. So I'm assuming we're forced to be here. But let's go ahead and go ahead and check out the rest of this. There's some items dotted around too. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go or what we're supposed to do. Maybe we are supposed to enter the rift. Oh, there's another potion over here. That could come in handy because we are going to be facing Persephone for sure. Let me just make sure we have potions because potions are going to be important. They definitely are. Um, let's see. We got 21 max potions. Yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're good. Um, let's see. There is a path down here, but let's see. Is there anything else around here? There's another path over here, it looks like. Nightmare Badlands. Okay. So, I'm not sure if that's where we're supposed to go. We're back in Pyron site. But let's go ahead and go down here, see what's going on. Oh, okay. So, it looks like... I didn't see what the thing was, but there's buildings down here. So, I'm assuming it's some kind of town. And there is Persephone dot dot dot. What is this? Is this the dream world are you serious a dream sequence how cliched can you get are you really doing this and it's basically the nightmare realm too the nightmare realm okay so you got the overworld dream realm and now the nightmare realm okay so are we going to the nightmare realm next is that something that we're going to be dealing with i don't know everything's black and red it's so edgy look who's talking persephone your whole outfit is black and red don't don't call my mind edgy. I'm not edgy like that. Come on now. I mean, I guess it makes sense given it's dark cry and all, but still. Dot dot dot. I can't believe it. Of course this would happen. The one time everything was going right for me. The one time I had dark cry and under my control too. To be honest, you really didn't have it under your control. You just used Cresselia as leverage, but then you lost your leverage by smashing his Pokéball. So there is an issue with that. Unbelievable. This is your fault, Panda. Somehow. Somehow, you're behind the reason I'm in your stupid, edgy mind dimension. It's not edgy, alright? Alright? This is just your fault. It's your fault. That, that, that's all I got. It's your fault. I'm gonna tear you to pieces, then find my way out of here. Okay. Consider this payback. I'm gonna love every minute of this. What do you mean payback? I haven't done anything to you, Persephone. I haven't done anything to you. <laughs> so last time, Persephone had a Mega Zorwark, I think. So I'm hoping she still has that because that was really easy to beat and we just beat her with the bubbles I'm pretty sure. But here comes a spirit tube. It's got knocked him. So what? Dark type moves are boosted and fairy type moves are, are nerfed I think. But let's set up a toxic spikes and then get out of here because I'm pretty sure spirit. Oh it's a mega spirit tomb. What the heck? What the heck is this? What the freaky doodles? This is not alright. He goes for sucker punch. That's great. That's perfect. So we can set up Toxic Spikes and dip because I don't want to be staying around because I feel like Spiritomb gets fire, like a fire move. He might get Flamethrower or something. And maybe now since it's Mega, it gets Fire Punch because, you know, it's got a hand now. I don't know. Let's go into Bubbles. So that way we resist the Fire-type move if it's coming and we resist the Dark moves because, you know, we're Fairy-type. 
He goes for Sucker Punch again, so free switch, beautiful. So now he's probably going to be going for Ghost type moves, but I feel like we should be fine with a play rough. This should do a little over half, I think. He goes for Sucker Punch again, okay, so I don't think he has anything else. That does about half, that did a lot, okay. And Sucker Punch does about half. And I can't tell if we're faster or not, but I'm assuming we are, but he's probably gonna go for Sucker Punch again, but we should live, and we just go for Play Rough. She switches, okay. That's interesting. Here's a Houndoom, Houndoom. This should do about half, right? We should do about half. We, we, huh? We missed? Did, did you just say we missed? Play Rough is a 90% accurate move. Oh, it's going for Nasty Plot. Uh, we need this Aqua Tail to KO. Come on, Aqua Tail, KO, 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 KOs. Beautiful. Whew. Okay. Nasty Plot Houndoom could have been scary. Okay, Brightens again, we're beautiful, great. So here comes an Alakazam. Hmm, Alakazam, I'm really tempted to go Wavern, but I know that Alakazam has Focus Blast. Holy crappy doodles, bro, half my team is, more than half my team is weak to fighting. What is this? Gary, Wavern, Mohawk, and Tesla are all weak to fighting. Okay, what if we go, hold on. No, wait, nah, eh, mate, eh, I don't know. Okay, what if we go Wavern? We bait the Focus Blast, and we go Osiris. Then, he's probably gonna go for like a Shadow Ball or something like that, right? Because that's super effective. But we should be fine with the Shadow Ball, because it's coming from an Alakazam, and that's not Stab. So unless he gets a crit, we should be fine. Then we can maybe go for like, Payback or something, I don't know. Or maybe, or maybe we go back into Wavern, because expecting a Shadow Ball, and then we should be faster? I'm not sure. Okay, all I know, we go Waver and then we go Osiris, right? That That's like 100% plan, right? We're good there. Comes Wavern, Alakazam. It's gonna go for Focus Blast, right? So then we switch into Osiris here. Right? Goes for Focus Blast. Doesn't affect us. We survive a shadow ball go for payback we survived the shadow ball payback will do more now and payback almost KOs it's got a focus sash I think the only thing with priority on our team is Tesla so I think he's gonna go for another shadow ball right so we resist the shadow ball. no do we resist I think we can take shadow ball no matter what right so we go I was not expecting that. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I messed up. I, I, ooh, I, he, I. We mega thunderbolt. And that should bring it back down to, that won't activate focus dash, but it should bring it down to red. Don't go for focus blast. Don't go for focus blast. Oh, we crit. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. If you went for Focus Blast and KO'd Tesla, I would have been so upset. I would have been so upset. Here comes a Hydreigon. Easy peasy. We're going into bubbles. We're going into bubbles. Four times super effective play rough. If you don't miss. If you miss. If you miss. I'm going to kill you, Bubbles. No, I would never do that to Bubbles. I love Bubbles. All right. Let me go for play rough. He goes for Fire Blast. Why would he go for Fire Blast? Is he trying to get a burn? He doesn't get the burn. Play rough straight up KOs. Let's go. Hydreigon down, three Mons down, two, three, two and a half, because Spirit Tomb. All right, two and a half more to go. Here comes a Gengar. I'm really tempted, I'm really tempted to go Wavering here, but I know for a fact Gengar gets Dazzling Gleam, and that's going to be painful. So, and oh, let's go Mohawk, actually, because I was going to say we go Tesla and just Thunderbolt it. But let's go Mohawk, because Mohawk has got Crunch, and he's probably going to soak up the Toxic Spikes because Gengar is a Poison type. So we can reset Toxic Spikes afterwards. So that's good, right? Here comes out the Gengar. It didn't absorb the Toxic Spikes. Does that mean it has- that means it has Levitate. Okay. So we go for Crunch. He goes for Shadow Ball. We should take this. That does about half. Oh, it's because it's Life Orb. That did a lot. Okay. It's Life Orb. We didn't KO. There's no way we didn't KO here. What the heck? It didn't KO. I think we go Tesla and... Wait, hold on. She's not a gym leader, so she doesn't have two full restores. But let's go Tesla. 
You go Tesla, right? You better not full restore. Destiny Bond? No. Mm-mm. Not. Wait, why did I go Tesla? I can't. I can't quick attack it. I can't quick attack. We quick attack. Pro strats here. A Destiny Bond again? Okay, then I'm gonna take this time to heal up something. Hold up. I'm not doing this. I'm not losing a Pokemon like that. We're using a max potion on who though? I feel like bubbles bubbles will come in handy later. Yeah, because we still have to take down the the spirit tomb, right? So I think we use Do we have any other potion besides a max potion? Because I really don't want to use the max potion on, you know, for like nothing. Okay, fine, that's fine. Let's just let's just use the max potion on Oh, maybe we do Osiris. Because Bubbles might be fine, actually. Like, Bubbles legitimately might be fine. Let's let's heal up Osiris, because I feel like he's going to go for Destiny Bond again. Again. Alright, that's that's three. He's only got five Destiny Bonds. And let's use our second potion here and heal up Bubbles. Heal up Bubbles. What happened to that Hyper Potion that I picked up? He goes for Destiny Bond for a fourth time in a row. What happened? I really wonder what happened to that Hyper Potion that I picked up. Did I use it? I don't think I used it. I know I picked up a Hyper Potion. Did I just see it and then not pick it i'm so confused whatever it's not the biggest of deals but let's go for a quick attack again because this is should be his last destiny bond he's really trying to take down tesla with him no i'm not letting that happen <laughs> and that's not happening buddy boy now he goes for shadow ball oh that was a crit he crit me and he goes down to life orb he crit me what the heck come on man here comes a Metagross, so we definitely have to switch out a Tesla for sure. Metagross is interesting, because Metagross can learn a lot of moves. Can't go Bubbles, because obviously he's probably got Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch, right? Osiris could be... Osiris, yeah, maybe. Maybe we could go Osiris for like a Payback or something? Could we go Mohawk instead for a Crunch? Because I trust Mohawk over Osiris a little bit. No, but Mohawk is weakened. And, oh... We can't go Wavern, Gary, Mohawk, or Tesla, because... Pretty sure Metagross gets Brick Break. I think our only option is Osiris with Payback. I think that's our only option. Okay. Or maybe we Will-O-Wisp? Let's try and get a Will-O-Wasp. He goes for a Meteor Mash. Okay. That does half. We get a Will-O-Wasp. A Will-O-Wasp. We get a Willow off though. Then, do I think we're going to live another Meteor Mash? But the last one did over 100, but now he's burned. Let's go for payback. Goes for meteor mash. There we go. This should do a lot. That's a crit and it doesn't even get. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. Now I think we go for our third and final potion here. Using our final max potion on Osiris again, right? Now the meteor mash does like little to nothing. He he's burned. And then we finish it off with a payback right here. Osiris coming in big. Let's go, Osiris. It was really risky with the, you know, towards the end there, but that's, that's okay. Osiris up to 85. Beautiful. She's still got the spirit tomb. I forgot about the spirit tomb for a second there. But that's fine. We got bubbles. Easy peasy. We just go for a quick play rough. And play rough isn't nerfed anymore because there is no dark thingamajiggy. And he's poisoned. We go for the easy play rough for the win. Let's go. We defeat Persephone. That's beautiful. Fantastic. I love it. So good. Bubbles up to 87 too. Wow. Okay. That's surprising because most Pokemon games, by the time you're like level 60 or something, you're at the Pokemon League. To be fair, this is way larger than a Pokemon game normally is. So I don't know. Oh, I lost. Wow. What a surprise. Losing and have nothing go right for me. What a brand new experience. This poor, I, I kind of feel bad for Persephone at the same time as like, I don't really care about her, but I feel bad because this lady has been losing since day one. Since day one, she's been losing. I kind of feel bad for her. Dot, dot, dot. I'm so done with this. I'll find my way out of here. I promise. And then Panda, I'll find you and crush you. Ooh, she's going to crush me, she says. So keep an eye out, Panda. I'm coming for you. You're not going to have a great time. We're going to have a great time in here. Yeah, we yeah, we are. I feel pretty good. I mean, okay, look, it's been a while since we've faced a boss, like a boss battle, and we haven't lost a Pokemon. So I'm kind of ecstatic about this. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm at the top of the mountain here. You don't remember your father at all, do you? I can't wait. 
I wish you could see the look on your face when you realize what I did. My father? I thought Pokemon characters just don't have fathers. What, what? I have a father? Okay, I mean, I'm assuming he's dead. Like, that's just factual. He's probably dead. Because, I mean, based off of what they did to the first Augur, they're, he's probably dead too. Alright, well, I guess, I guess we're free. What is this place called? Is it Pyron site? Pyron Town. Okay, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and explore this town and see what we can do. Okay, so this guy, I heard that somewhere in Cortisol Road, east of here, there's an old parchment. As a history enthusiast myself, I'd rather quite get interested in reading, blah, 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 blah. And if we give him this old parchment that we can find on Cortisol Road, he's going to give us a reward. So I got to remember to actually do that. So, you know, I got to remember that. But, uh, ooh, there's a Chansey. Okay, so let's heal up the team, especially after that big battle. They definitely need to be healed up. And then this is the last house, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and talk to this dude. We'd like to trade. Okay, a level one Pokemon for his. How do you even get a level? I think you have to hatch from an egg. That's the only way that you can actually get a level one Pokemon. So I'm wondering if that's supposed to be like a really good level one or... Whatever he's giving us is going to be really good. And apparently this lady's giving us something too. Heart scales. Okay. So heart scales are actually really good. It can help us relearn some moves, which will be helpful if we can find ourselves a secret base. Especially with some of the newer team members, such as Osiris and Gary. But uh, we do have to head east here because they're saying that we have to go somewhere. I don't know where. Hey, Panda. Are you going to travel through the Dream Realm? I've got a message to deliver for you if that's the case, dot dot dot. What do you mean, how do I know who you are? You're somewhat of a celebrity down here. This is a dream, this is your dream realm, remember? Oh, that's so true. Wait, hold on, hold on. How are there people down here? How are there people in my mind? That doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, doesn't make any sense. Anyways, Adam says he's waiting for you in Erebus City. It's urgent. We're going to want to head, you're going to want to head northeast as quick as possible. You don't want to keep Adam waiting. Adam? Who's Adam? Am I just being dumb again and not knowing who Adam is? Am I supposed to know who an Adam? Am I supposed to know an Adam? I, I, I don't know an Adam. I'm not sure who Adam is. So, um, there seems to be an route with Pokemon and trainers. But, uh, I think let's just grab an encounter first right now. Let's not worry about it. Let's just grab the encounter. It's a Clefable, okay. All right, so we got ourselves the Clefable. Nice and easy, one ball, not too bad. And everyone getting a little bit of XP from that. But what do we name a male Clefable? I think we got a name here, we got Astral. You know, they're aliens and space. So Astral, I think Astral's a good name. But I think this is where we're gonna leave off the episode, guys. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and let me know down in the comments below, what do you think Persephone did to our dad? Personally, I think our dad died. I'm actually even surprised we had a dad, because most Pokemon games, the father is not ever mentioned. So, let me know down in the comments below your theories on what Persephone did, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.